BNI is about um, networking and it's about um, uh, givers gain. Thank you. <laughs> so Casey's going to do his best. Go to the visitors uh, so you'll get an opportunity to see how it's done. Uh, be more specific. Uh, the more specific you are on what kind of a referral you're looking for, the better uh, we will know how to refer you. So if you know somebody's exact name that you want uh, to meet, um, please stand up, tell us what you do for a living and, and who you'd like to meet. So why don't we start off? Casey. Um, my name is Casey Marganow. I'm with REMAX Distinctive Real Estate. Obviously, um, if with real estate in my name, I, well, that's what I do. I sell homes. I help people find or sell their um, residential real estate. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Casey. Well, let me get away. I have to Raise make this a phone. lot higher. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, I, this was supposed to be done with two people, but um, my partner kind of uh, wigged out on me. So um, I want to talk about a little bit about, yeah, um, a little bit about using video and the internet and social media to, uh, and how it is affecting our business. Now, Kara brought up some very good points in her educational thing, and this is more of an educational um, type of speech as well. Um, we have a guy here that makes apps very important in today's business. Um, how many of you guys, and just sh from a show of hands, use a DVR or a Hula or some other internet option to watch t TV today? Okay. How many of you guys watch the commercials? Or do you just fast forward like I do? Click, 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 click. I know exactly how many buttons it takes. So, you know, advertising and television is over pretty much uh, and becoming more and more. Um, <clears throat> when email first came out, what a cool thing, you know. They even made movies. You got mail, you know. Um, now, <laughs> what do you think about it today? <laughs> I mean, bottom line is, is you got to have it, but do you look at any email marketing that comes in your mailbox? No. No one does. Uh, email marketing is dead. If you send out garbage to people, you're put into a spam folder and you'll never even get your, a word to them anymore. So email's kind of over. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that marketers ruin everything. And I can say that, I'm a marketer, okay? <clears throat> when we find something that works, the word spreads, we pound on it until we kill it. I mean, think about how you look at a web page today. Do you even look at the top banner ad or the, so the right side? You don't even look there. We don't look at that anymore. It's, uh, matter of fact, the um, click rates on, um, on banner ads is dropping every single month right now. The fact is, is that the internet is a game changer, but it's still in its infancy right now. It's about uh, t not even 20 years old yet. Um, and it's changing everything about how we do business. Um, I mean, think about it. The internet? toppled a government. That's how powerful it is. It, it, in, and in our business, if we're here, we're pretty much selling something. Everybody sells something right now. I mean, it doesn't make a difference if you're an accountant or if you sell software or if you're building. It doesn't make a difference. You're in the sales business. And so we, you know, today's consumers have so much information at their fingertips that they are empowered like never before. With all this data there, they can, they can, they can control what they want, what they can see, and it's, we as marketers always have pushed stuff out to the consumer, but today what's happening is, is the consumer's deciding what they want to see, what they want to look at. So they're deciding what they're going to do. I mean, he was talking about how desktops are going to be out. In my business, everybody uses mobile right now. I mean, mobile is the, the key to going to everything. Um, 
And but we as marketers, we got to get our story out. Um, and the good thing about marketing people is, is we adapt. So the fact of the matter is people are people. They're not going to stop consuming. They're not going to stop buying things. They're not going to stop using services. But you still have to get your message out. And social media, the internet, they're all the same. It doesn't make a difference what they're called. The fact of the matter is, is that that allows us to do so. Matter of fact, it's like a network event on steroids. Okay, um, Things like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, Yelp, LinkedIn, Foursquare, Google Plus. If you don't know what these things are or how they can work your business, it's time for you to learn. Um, uh, but these are just tools to reach consumers. The thing is, is you have to tell your story. You, um, and you have to also listen. Um, if you don't know what search.twitter.com is, you need to learn it. It is one of the most powerful tools that you can have in your business going forward. You need to, and as Kara was saying, you know, people want to do business with people that they know. We've turned around back to an, like an old time business. People want to do business with the small mom and pop shop. They want to deal with people that they know, that they understand, and, and so it's all about building relationships, as Kara had said. It's more like dating the most popular girl in high school. You can't just go out there and just ask her for a date. Um, you have to work it. Um, it's, it's <laughs> Casey has no experience with that. None. Um, it's a handshake. It's not a sales pitch. You know, we do our little elevator pitches here. That's not what it's about. You've got to help people. You've got to work through things. Um, people want to build. They build relationships on trust, on knowledge, and expertise. Expertise and knowledge are in very high demand. Um, you, you need to show people that you are the expert. Uh, you, you, need to, uh, you need to let people understand that you care. Um, you know, social allows you to care on scale. Um, and that's what things uh, about being in business is, is about. When I first got into the real estate business, I couldn't do the amount of transactions that I do today. I mean, for God's sakes, the, the MLS didn't have pictures in it at all. We got it on thermal paper when we printed it out. If you left it in your windshield, it turned black. And now today, everything's on the internet and every, everything you ever want to know is sitting out there. Um, you need to take your message, you need to optimize it, you need to distribute it along online channels so that it can be found by prospective customers. Now, do you want your stuff going out to five million people? No. You want to target and work on the areas that you work in and just, it's not about more business, it's about better quality business. Um, you want to engage with prospective customers, um, show them that you're competent, and then, and, and the internet's about catching people early in the process, L teaching them about you, letting them know what you're about, and it takes a long time to see results. You don't just get, go out there and boom, it works for you. And so you have to start it and not stop. Um, you know, it, it the, it's also word of mouth on scale. But doing the right thing has always been the right thing. So if you do things right, people will talk about it. Um, and the things like Yelp and um, Foursquare, they allow the consumer to talk about what you do. Angie's List is another one for some of these people that allow the consumers to tell your story. And getting testimonials and that type of thing is a great prospect to help everybody. Um, the other thing that is out there is effort. 
one of the things that the more and more I talk to salespeople, I talk to different people about things, effort is in short supply. If you try and you work things and you do the right things through the process, um, effort is in, appreciated. When you go that extra mile for the client or the customer, they appreciate it and then they'll help you tell your story. They also, the consumers, have great BS detectors out there today. You try to shortcut, do those things, it's out there for everybody to know. So the fact of the matter is, is you've got to run your business. Today is going to run, businesses are going to have to get it together because <clears throat> the consumer has the power to tell your story, good or bad. Um, great content um, pays for itself over the long term. And that's why I was ta talking about video. Um, video is a way of telling your story. Um, right now, there's more content being produced in one year than there was from the beginning of time to 2004, right now. Um, <clears throat> I, I do video on every single house that I list. I go in, I explain everything about the house. I started this in the end of 2006, early 2007, okay? Today, no one looks at a house that I sell. I never go and meet somebody there without them already have seen the video online. Because the way that people shop for real estate is they go out there, they find a property, they look at it and then what happens is, is they Google that address. They Google the address because they want to see the Google Maps and those types of things. And they wind up looking at these video tours because they pop up because YouTube is owned by Google. And I, I, and I optimize my, um, my YouTube videos by putting Google Maps of that address into it and other things. Um, so. You guys are the guys that need to figure out what your business is about, what you're selling, and then learn how to tell your story. When you get on online, it's about jabbing. It's about letting people know what's going on, being helpful. You put out a jab, a jab, a jab, a jab, a jab, and then you can hit them with the uppercut, you know, because at that point in time you can earn their business and then you can ask for business. You got to ask for business in, the, in this world, but the, the web doesn't work that way. You've got to get to know first. You've got to get to know people first. Um, the fact of the matter is, is the motto here is that givers give. Well, it's the same thing on the internet. Uh, givers gain, sorry. <laughs> um, you have to give and 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 then it comes back in rewards and it allows you to gain. Um, doing, doing business on the internet is just like a BNI event. You work it and you work through it and then it'll come back and pay you back as well. Um, and do, are, are you talking about 10 or 13? I'm talking about 13. Okay, very good. <laughs> I didn't know if there was any specific questions that anybody had. Um, one of the things when I was doing this, um, we, we, we started talking about it and, um, and there wound up being some questions. I think I have one minute, so if you guys have any questions on specifics, I'll ha be happy to answer. Yeah, so, uh, you know, you said optimize your message and, uh, and then jab and get that across. Uh, so what's uh, the best thing to start on social media? I mean, uh, putting some out on Angie's list, putting some out on... Well, what, but for you, you're in the moving business. So what happens if you interview the people that you just moved that had a great story to tell? Then you can promote that through. Um, I, I actually have some notes on YouTube. Um, I didn't know if we were going to have time to get into specifics. And if you guys like this kind of stuff and you want to talk about it more, we could set up some other things where we'll delve into one specific social media. But I kind of felt like I needed to talk about doing the whole outline first before we can get into delving into one thing. But I did put some notes together on YouTube because I find that YouTube is one of the easiest and best ways to post video. And um, so. 
um, you, you need to title your video. I mean, when you get into it, you need to title your video on who you want to reach. You need to put tags and, and profile links into your video. So it's very important to have links back to other things that are, that are pertinent, even other videos into it. Um, mapping it is also another port, important part of it. Um, keywords that will show up in a search. You set it up as public. You can make playlists. So you can do testimonials in a playlist. You can do, um, you can actually show people how to organize a move. How about questions that come up with, you know, what do I do? How do I get boxes? How do I do this? Are you going to pack this? All those types of questions. So you come up with questions that you're getting every day in your business anyway and answer them in video so that you're answering them to everybody. When Tony and I were talking about it, he started going, well, what should I do? I mean, he's in the computer business and he was like, how do I do this and how do I do that? And, and we came up with game plan for him on how to do this kind of stuff. Um, you, you always need to pick your thumbnail because they'll, it'll pick it for you, but you gotta pick one that's better in, in there. And if you don't like it, 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 you can click it again, yes. Right. Her and I had a one-to-one -one about this exact same stuff, and she is really good at this. She has a lot of ideas. She, she, everything that you're saying is basically she had, had spoken about, and that is her business. Yep. So in addition to, to meeting with you for, you know, I know you're a real estate guy, but, yep. you know, it, obviously we all want to meet with Veronica and be using her services because she's partnered with somebody who, who helps with the Google stuff. And, and just like you said, all the keywords, the video, the video is it right now. You, you, you link your video to Google. You will be one of the first, when people search the key terms, you'll be one of the first things to pop up on, on the Google search. I quit it until you want. I just okay. wanted to throw that out for Veronica. All right. Great. All right. All right. You want to tie all of your media into your web presence. Even our new brochures has it. So, all right. Thank you, Casey. That was great.